Hey guys, welcome back to this let's play of Mortal Online, the third era. This is Fun Gaming Connoisseur. And today uh, we're just going to continue. We're leaving Beth Jetta temporarily. And we're going to explore a bit of this area up ahead, which I've never explored before. Okay, so this is, this is the uh, another entrance into the city, I think. Okay, so now we have to be extra careful. Okay, there's some stuff here. Windmill Crusher. Okay. Grinder. Okay. There's a barrel as well. Ah, wool. That's interesting. Maybe I can bring that back for my crafter. I'm sure we can use it. Okay, I think it's approaching sunset. The rat sars, and I've learned my lesson, so I'm staying away from them. They might they might look pretty um, weak, but uh, once you start fighting them, they you find that they are quite powerful. But obviously, you know, if you can parry, uh, which I which I will try to do more next time, then you can probably take one down. So, Beth Jetta is north, so if we're heading south, then... Alright. Situation awareness, you need, you need to be, um, you know, be situationally aware when you're exploring. those things over there. Looks like people. Looks like some sort of person. <laughs> I think that red side's looking at me. What is this? Okay, <laughs> it's just nothing. Man, I always fall for uh, you know objects in the distance. And uh, like I like I said in uh, one of my previous videos, I did say that um, you know lock uh, lock picking will take up four primary skill uh, you know four primary skills. Um, and so I, I feel that that's a little bit too much for me for my character to take on. I don't really have any extra primary skill points left, so you know, being a lock picker on this character is out of the question. Whoa, <laughs> that was a that was a massive lag. And uh, so, as another previ uh, previous player. Another player told me previously in another video, um, it is due to, you know, some crossing a node line. So obviously, um, you know, accounts for the the lag that you saw just now. But yeah, you know, um, I really do find that um, exploring in the desert. Is a very different experience. Wow, look at this. The graphics here is 
amazing. <laughs> Definitely very nice to look at. And we can't uh, idle for too long because in this game you've always got to be, uh, you know, always got to keep moving. Don't be complacent. Wow, this is really, you know, just a, a vast empty desert. And I'm just trying to picture myself in the Dune universe. Because I am, you know, very, uh, you know, I do like the Dune universe because, you know, I, I was introduced to this un uh, the Dune universe through the game Dune 2, the building of a dynasty. Which is a very, very old game um, from the 1990s. But uh, that is one of the best games I've ever played, Dune 2, so... And, uh, you know, I wish it would come out on GOG.com Because I re would really like to get a copy of it You know, um... A copy of it through GOG.com But unfortunately they don't have it at this point in time <laughs> well, you can re be really just wandering aim aimlessly through the desert because, you know, unlike Marland, where there are, you know, sort of like particular areas where, you know, you can find things to look at, you know, find things to, you know, specific uh, areas, areas that, uh, you know, they have things to explore. Um, Sadokar, by contrast, is a very, just a very big desert, and there's not really, you know, anything, any direction that will, you know, it doesn't really point you in any direction. So you're really left just wandering aim aimlessly through the desert, and uh, unless you know where you're going, it's, you know, it's likely just going to be, you know, a very bleak and, uh, a very empty landscape. Not to say that it's uh, there's nothing in it, but but yeah, you know what I mean. It's you know, it's like wandering through a desert in real life. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I think that obviously leads to somewhere over there. I wonder whether that goes back to Marland. Is that the bridge? Anyway, I think this is where I'll leave it. And uh, so, hope to see you next time. And uh, we'll continue to explore, you know, Sado Car. So, hope that you'll join me. And so, as always, if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time. This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur. Take care. Hello everybody, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Mortal Online, the third era. This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur here. And today you are watching episode 20, I believe. Okay, so... This is a very, very nice uh, scenery here. And it's night time, so look at the sky. <laughs> very, uh, very nice to look at. And so this is the 0.14 patch, which SV deployed uh, recently, I think it was uh, uh, two days ago, I think. And and in this patch there's a lot of uh, nice changes um, and fixes and additions, so uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, you can check it out at the official forums. Okay, so as I said in my previous episode, uh, I'm going to continue exploring. Uh, but uh, before I do that, I'd just like to uh, say hello to all my German viewers. Hallo! <laughs> yeah, I, I did a bit of learning uh, on how to say hello in German. 
and to all my viewers in Brazil, oi! <laughs> uh, so for those of you who don't know, um, the language in Brazil is Portuguese, so um, yeah, so I did a bit of uh, studying on that, uh, learning how to say just you know, simple phrases, and uh, so because I did check the YouTube analytics the other day, and uh, and Brazil and Germany were on the uh, top five countries of viewers. So thank you to everyone who has been uh, watching my videos. So I figured that uh, you know for our for this episode, I want to just okay. So just reorient reorientate myself. So this, so Bet Jedi should be there. And that's the oak that you can see in the distance. Okay. So if we want to get down to that valley there, I think we have to. Yeah, I think we'll have to, you know, climb down somehow. And it looks like my subscription, uh, you know, hasn't uh, activated on my account, even though I pay for it just now. So I think it's going to take maybe a few hours for it to kick in. But oh well. Hopefully we won't have to. Hopefully we won't get into combat in this episode because uh, all my skills are currently set to sixty. I wonder what that is. Something there. Wonder what it is. Hope it's hope hopefully it's not some monster. Stone lizard. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm not going going near that. They don't sound uh too friendly. Wow, the night the night sky does look very nice. It really do, really does make the uh make this whole place you know look very uh yeah, it's a very nice scenery. Okay, so we're just gonna head south. So we're heading away from Beth Jetta. So let's hope that this journey goes well. Uh, hopefully we won't die. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, how do I get down from here? Um, I think if I go, if I drop down here, I'm going to die. So I better find another way. Because from my experience, the falling damage has been changed and so it's much easier to die now from falling and so that's where you know the uh, falling oh is that skill called um, let me just see it's under agility athletics jumping oh here we go landing technique <laughs> okay so I've got I've got a bit of way to go before I can get this skill um, reduces falling damage. Okay, so that's the skill you want to get if you planning on <laughs> uh, jumping great distances. Gotta be careful here. Uh, I think you will. I think it's. I think if you drop down from here, you you will die. So. <laughs> Oh, 
but before it used to be you know I could you know drop quite a bit quite a fair distance and still survive but you know now with Sado car um, with 1.81 you know it's it's well nigh impossible now it's like if you just um, you know if you drop even just a moderate distance to the ground you will die okay so we've made it to okay so I think now we can explore further ahead yeah it's a bit difficult you know running with all your skills kept at 60 oh well So it looks like there's something interesting down there, so let's go and have a look. And uh, so, I think you may have heard, uh, Mortal Online is coming to Steam, finally, <laughs> after that many years. So, so at last, this game is finally coming to the masses, you know, to the mainstream crowd. And so, I'm hoping that you know, SV, you know, will continue to keep this game to its roots. Um, because I do know that you know this game is not for everyone. You know this is for you know this is a hardcore game. And it's very different to your usual MMOs like World of Warcraft and Elder Scrolls Online. You know this game demands a very different set of um, you know different set of skills <laughs> from the player. Uh, it really does require you to be alert at all times. There is no mini-map to help you out. And, you know, combat is, um, you know, skill-based, or rather, you know, Twitch-based, and location-specific. So hopefully, you know, when it comes to Steam, uh, you know, the uh, hopefully players will be able to get used to this because yeah because uh, you know this game is not uh, you know not for the faint-hearted <laughs> let's just put it mildly man I wish you know my skills were a hundred because you know I have to sprint just to you know, keep things going a bit fast, but yeah, if I were to just, you know, go normal, normal brisk running, it's pretty slow. But yeah, this looks like uh, the way to a, to a, to the sea, I think. And since it's since it's dark, I, I think I can draw my weapon, and it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't make me it won't make me more visible in the distance. And one thing that you shouldn't do when you're traveling, regardless of whether it's daytime or nighttime, is holding a torch. <laughs> That's a very sure way to attract attention. Ok, 
Okay, so I think there's a path that leads up to the cliffs. But uh, I want to just go to the... Uh, go as far as I can go. And what is this thing here? Is this something I can pick? I think it's just grass. <laughs> yeah. I do remember reading the patch notes that uh, SV has added uh, some new, some more pickables. Okay, aloe vera. Okay, this can be my food <laughs> out here. Okay. Yeah, it's not it's not exactly the best food. I mean, palm fruit in the uh, in Beth Jeddah is much better, in my opinion. I wonder what's in here. I hope this is not some trapped, <laughs> trapped box, you know. In uh oh, nice seven silvers. Yeah, because it reminds me of um, the chests in Ultima Eight. Um, you know, that was one one of the things that was reviled by a lot of the players. That uh, a lot of the chests that you come across in the game are trapped and you know would explode when you when you try and open it even if you have the key and you un unlock it it'll still blow up in your face so <laughs> uh, so can I pick from this no okay <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, more sand. This is a very sandy place. Actually, probably, uh, you know, 90% or maybe even more of this place is covered in sand. seems like everywhere you go it's just sand <laughs> desert and rolling dunes and misas okay so once we've explored this place we'll make our way up here and see what we find that's the plan. And uh, I do remember Mr. Jevons pointing out something about uh, something about a sun. If you go into something, is it, what do you call it, a sun thing? I don't know. He's he mentioned it in the in the comments. Um, said that it will kill you if you go near it, or if you go in it. I don't know what he's talking... I'm not really sure what he's referring to. Uh, what is this? This is a dungeon. Okay. <laughs> Fingers crossed. We may have found a dungeon here. What are we going to find in here? <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, this could be... I think this might be a shelter uh, for those players who are... who find themselves heating up in the desert. Ah! Oh, this is what I need. Actually, I want to find out whether I can pick um, pick fruit from this Oh no, I'm heating up again. Okay. Palm fruit. This is what I need.
Okay, so we can destroy this to lighten our weight. Okay, we've got some good food here. So, should we eat this now? Yeah, I think we should. Very nice. And I think that's another palm fruit tree, so we'll plant, so I'll, I'll get a bit more palm fruit in case we need it. That's weird. Um, the little temperature icon to the bottom right is red, but I'm not taking damage. So, you know, I'm kind of thinking that the players are, or, you know, maybe even murderers that you encounter here would most likely be lightly armoured. They won't be, you know, clad in plate armour or anything like that. They'll most likely be wearing light armour, you know, uh, strong light armour. Because out here, if you wear plate armour, you're most, most likely to overheat and then die, so... There's something there as well. Wonder what that is. Oh, there's a town. Okay. Ooh, that's a bit of a lag. And what is this stone lizard? <laughs> Longbow arrow? Eh, don't really need that. Okay. Okay, so that's a town there. I'm not sure what it, what what it's called, but yeah, we'll, we'll check it out. Man, we've come really far. <laughs> yeah, it seems like there's no end in sight. It just seems to go on forever. But, uh, yeah, I think <laughs> I should find a place to, you know, break this episode up in, into multiple, multiple episodes. Um, so I think let me find a place to hide. <laughs> maybe high up in the... Uh, maybe up here will be good. Alright, so nice view here. So I think this is where I'll end this video and we'll continue. Maybe in the next video we'll, we'll explore that uh, town over there and see what we find in there so uh, thank you for watching and as always if you could please like comment subscribe and share look forward to seeing you next time this is fine gaming connoisseur and to all my german viewers danke <laughs> and to all my Braz brazilian uh, viewers uh, obrigado uh, thanks for watching take care Hello everyone, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Mortal Online, the third era. This is my gaming connoisseur. And so we're continuing on from previous episode. So this is episode 21. <laughs> starting to take damage now. So we're just gonna head there, 
head to this uh, what looks to be a town. At least that's what I think it is. <laughs> could be anything, could be a dungeon. That looks like a town. But, um, but yeah, so far I've not come across any player killers, which is <laughs> good for me. A long, the long way upward. Hopefully, no highway men here, like last time. So I did mention, and I've mentioned mentioned this a number of times. You know, just just in case there are those of you who are new. Uh, if you're planning to visit Fabenham, um try and think of an alternative way. You know, don't go by the path that leads up to. The fa uh, Fabenum, because chances are there's going to be one or two player killers waiting around there, um, and uh, and that last time when I went there and I was leaving, I was mounted and I was riding at full speed, and uh, one of the players, one of the murderers, knocked me off my mount, and you know proceeded to kill it, and uh, after they killed it, they <laughs> turned their attention to me and so one was an archer and the other one was a melee mounted uh, mounted melee character so they pretty much finished me off in you know a very short amount of time so uh, so if you're planning to uh, visit Fabenum think of an al alternative way and by that I mean you know maybe you have to sneak your way in so <laughs> that's something you have to figure out for yourself. <laughs> As with a lot of things in this game, there is no manual to speak of. Um, a lot of the knowledge you either learn by playing the game or you learn from other players. And this place, this place looks like it's uh, very warm a hot place, so I may start taking damage again. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to find here. This is a narrow pass. And the frame rate just dropped to... Z yeah, it dropped to 10 just now. I'm guessing it's uh, because I'm crossing a node line. Let's just see how much what we have. We have nine silvers, actually twelve, <laughs> and a whole stack of palm fruit. Okay, so the stakes are getting higher somewhat. You know, I do have some, I do have some things to, to lose if I die, if I get killed. Where is this p place taking me? Where is this path leading to? <laughs> I thought it was going to take me to, you know, that town, but for some reason it just keeps on going. Seems like a dead end by the looks of it. I'm either getting closer to that town, or I'm just getting myself lost. <laughs> okay, seems like there's an opening. And it does look like I'm getting closer to the town. 
Yep, it does look like it. So I think I may have just discovered another town. So I wonder, I wonder what the town is called. See, this is the this is the wonder of discovery. Um, you really need to, you know, have that s sort of um, desire to explore. And I think it's uh, daybreak. By the looks of it, uh, should I go down this way or this way? <laughs> Which way is easier? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, what is that? There's something there. Um, I'll go this way. My gut instinct tells me this this way is better. I wonder what that is. Is that just... Oh! Okay, it's, it looks like a... <laughs> looks like a dungeon. Hang on a second. <laughs> Where am I exactly? And what is this? This better be, be not be a... Okay. <laughs> Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is really um, getting confused now. Um, isn't there supposed to be a town here? Or am I... Or did I go off track? Okay, let's just get... Let's just get down to... Let's just get down from here. And we'll do this carefully. Whew. No falling damage. Oh! Look at that. Uh, did someone just die? Is that... Is that blood? Let's just go and investigate. Whoa. Man. <laughs> okay, this is, um... Okay, this is interesting. There's, um, there's some blood. Okay guys, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to find here, but... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to find another way down. Find to avoid killing myself. Okay guys, I think we will, uh, I'm not sure whether I should continue or, yeah, <laughs> I think I'll, uh, I'll continue this in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Take care.